even after nearly two years of preparation, we expect to see large numbers of encounters at our southern border in the days and weeks after May 11th. We are already seeing high numbers of encounters in certain sectors. This places an incredible strain on our personnel, our facilities, and our communities with whom we partner closely. Our plan will deliver results, but it will take time for those results to be fully realized, and it is essential that we all take this into account. I cannot overemphasize that our current situation is the outcome of Congress leaving a broken, outdated immigration system in place for over two decades, despite unanimous agreement that we desperately need legislative reform. It is also the result of Congress's decision not to provide us with the resources we need and that we requested. Let me be clear. The lifting of the Title 42 public health order does not mean our border is open. In fact, it is the contrary. Our use of our immigration enforcement authorities under Title 8 of the United States Code means tougher consequences for people who cross the border illegally. We are a nation of immigrants. We are also a nation of laws. Our immigration laws today are outdated. The solution we are implementing are the best available within our current legal authority, but they are short-term solutions to a decades-old problem.